Hello everyone, I hope you guys are having a wonderful day. I'm Arif, your cloud learning journey partner. In today's video, we're gonna talk about a very important topic that is how to secure AWS Lambda function. So uh, suppose you have deployed your application in uh, cloud, specifically on uh, AWS, and you do have uh, different uh, services uh, for your application. Uh, you are using Lambda function, you are using VPC, you are using uh, some other services too. And the thing here is that you want to secure your Lambda function, so you really want to put some sort of security group uh, in front of a lambda function so that your lambda function can only be accessible from a certain uh, source and also you want to have a private uh, a private communication going on from your lambda function to your vpc so you want to integrate your lambda function with the vpc aws vpc so into this video i'm gonna show you like how to integrate lambda function with uh, vpc how to uh, put a security group in front of Lambda function to secure the communication. So after watching this video, you'll have a complete understanding about it. Well, before starting the video, I just want to talk about myself. Well, I'm Arif. I do have more than eight years of experience in uh, cloud computing and cybersecurity. Besides that, I also hold CISSP and CCSP certification. This channel is all about cloud computing, cybersecurity, and uh, career IT related tips. So if you're interested in this, this channel is definitely for you. I'm gonna upload a tons of videos related to this topic, so please like and subscribe to my channel so you can see my upcoming videos so without further delay let's explore the lambda security today all right so i have logged into my personal aws account and from here uh, let's search for lambda from the search menu and uh, here we go so this is the lambda console and currently i do have one lambda function test but uh, for the sake of this video i'm going to create a new lambda function and then try to integrate it with uh, aws uh, vpc and we'll also try to add a security group in front of the lambda function so that any sort of traffic that is trying to access our uh, lambda function will first uh, pass the security group for better security so uh, I'm gonna click here create function so there are a few options like author from scratch use a blueprint if you choose this option then all the ready-made lambda functions are uh, available for us and also we can also use lambda for uh, our container image so select a container image to deploy on your function so you can also deploy container images to our lambda functions this is uh, very cool so i'm gonna go with this author from scratch one and i'm gonna call it uh, uh, vpc integration just uh, a name all right so after that here we have to choose the runtime so if you are planning to use node.js so there are different versions. we do have node.js uh, language we do have python we do have uh, uh, ruby so i'm just gonna go with the node.js uh, latest one that is node.js 20 and then the architecture i'll go with the default one and the default execution rule so uh, for now i'm gonna go with the default one that is the basic lambda function permission after this uh, now i'm gonna just uh, scroll down in here and uh, we'll uh, create the lambda function and later i will attach the lambda function with the uh, vpc so here you go once I click this uh, create function, so it will just create uh, a Lambda function for us. Uh, the runtime would be Node.js 20. So here is just our Lambda function. Uh, it's empty right now because we uh, chose the author from scratch option. So it's empty. And uh, now we can uh, go to this uh, configuration tab. And here is the VPC option. So uh, before choosing a VPC, I will go to my VPC console from the search bar. And uh, under your VPC, I do have two VPCs right now under this uh, region, uh, North Virginia. One is test VPC and the second one is the default one. Here you can see this is the default one. So uh, now uh, I will uh, go in here and click the edit button and I have to select one of the VPCs. After that, there is an option to allow IPv6 traffic for dual stack subnets. Uh, well, uh, I'm just uh, gonna ignore this one cause uh, this is for test. And under subnet, 
Here are uh, six subnets under this uh, VPC. I'm going to choose at least two subnets because it is recommended if you see this uh, uh, alert. So this is the first one. This is the second one. Once we have it, now it's asking to uh, choose a security group. Well, I don't have a security group created. A good question could be if, at this point, if we don't have a security group, then how we can create a security group for a Lambda function or from which section, which part from AWS we can create a security group. Well, there are two options to create a security group uh, in here. So if I go back to this VPC, under VPC, if we look into the left uh, panel here, uh, we do have an option for security group uh, that is uh, here, security group. So we can create from here and the other option is to create security group is from the EC2 console because for EC2 servers, you always use uh, uh, security group. So that's why AWS has also attached the security group uh, functionality, creation functionality under the EC2 too. So in here, uh, I'm going to click the create security group option and I'm going to name it something like that I can recall later, uh, maybe VPC Lambda. So uh, we need a description. I'm going to just copy and paste the same thing in here. And here we have to choose a VPC, which VPC we want to uh, use because the security group will be a part of the uh vpc so the vpc we are planning to attach to the lambda function the same vpc should be selected in this section so i'm gonna choose this one the default one and now we have to create some inbound rules so uh here if we want to secure our communication then uh maybe if we want to only allow some uh http request right so we can choose that or if uh, some other uh, sort of protocol we want to follow, we can also uh, use that one. So under custom T uh, TCP, we can uh, select our uh, source, our port range. So for now, uh, I'll just uh, put uh, anywhere, but uh, it's not the ideal scenario. The whole case, the whole point uh, to create the security group is that to secure the uh, lambda function so whenever you will create it uh, you have to be mi very mindful like is it really required to open the port is it really to open the particular uh, the particular type of uh, request for this particular lambda function so for the test of this video i'm just gonna uh, keep this port open to all so here uh, my option would be like custom ipv4 and uh, protocol would be all and uh, every uh, anywhere and everywhere so that's the uh, inbound and the outbound you can also set the outbound so the outbound it also it's a pretty much like allowing all traffic from everywhere but this is just for the testing but when we'll uh, use this security group for our prod environment we must have to make sure that uh, this security group inbound and outbound rules are uh, pretty strict other than that there is no point to having a security group so after this, I will just uh, hit this uh, create security group uh, button. So now we have a security group and the security group name is this. So now let's go back to our video and we need to refresh it once. And uh, the name of the security group is PPC Lambda. So uh, let's uh, search for it, VPC Lambda, here we go. So now we have the security group. So we have defined the VPC that we want to connect to uh, the subnets to subnets. We have also selected the security group that we want to add uh, to this Lambda function. And now let's try to hit the save button. Now, here, if you see, now uh, we are getting a permission error that is the the provided execution rule doesn't have a permission to call the create network interface on EC2. So we also need an ENI permission for this. And why we will attach it? Well, we can attach it to the IAM role that we selected at the very beginning of this video. I mean, the, when we created the Lambda function. So we have to edit that one. So let's go to that part and attach this uh, ENI create network interface uh, permission to that particular IAM role. So I'm gonna 
open this lambda function in a new tab so we can look into the uh, permission the im role that is attached to it so, and the im role is uh, this one so let's open it and it will uh, uh, open aws im console and this is uh, the im role that is attached to it and this is the one policy that is attached to this lambda function that is AWS lambda basic execution rule which doesn't have the permission to uh, create the ENI so for that uh, how we can attach a new role to uh, have the permission so for that we have to click here add permission and uh, click this uh, create inline policy okay so once it's uh, here then we have to two options we can create a visual uh, once uh, here we can see the services so it's more of a like uh, easy way i already have the json script for that so i'm gonna go to this json section and uh, i'm gonna uh, paste that so if we look into this one so it's uh, literally just uh, allowing these permissions that are create network interface describe the network interface attach or detach the network interface from uh, any resources so after pasting it in here now i'm just gonna go to the next and uh, give this policy a name i'm gonna call it uh, eni access and i'm gonna create the policy so now we do have two policies that are attached to this uh, rule uh, and uh, this role is uh, integrated to the lambda function so now we can go back to our lambda function now uh, here it is and uh, now let's try to save this and uh, here we go so now it's uh, all done so now our uh, lambda function is attached to this particular vpc and the vpc has this uh, subnet attached to it and the security group where we can see the inbound and outbound rules so now this Lambda is a part of the VPC and the Lambda has a security group to uh, ensure that uh, only the uh, needed uh, traffic is uh, allowed. Congratulations guys for reaching this far of this uh, video. Now you know exactly like how to integrate a Lambda function with the VPC, how to uh, attach a security group in front of the Lambda function to secure the Lambda function. Well, if you guys have any questions to do the steps that we have followed today, please let me know under this comment section and I'm gonna answer a very short bit of time. Well, thank you so much guys for watching my videos. It means a lot to me. So that's why I try my best to provide value through my video. If uh, you found this video helpful, please uh, like and subscribe to my channel so that you can see my upcoming videos. Uh, that's all for today. Have a great and wonderful day.